Hi, I'm Bob Power, and we're very pleased to have with us today Don Bubar, who is CEO of Avalon Advanced Materials, Inc., which trades on our OTCQX market under the symbol AVLNF. Don, welcome to the Market Center. Pleasure to be here, Bob. Thanks. Tell us a bit about Avalon and what you do. Avalon is a Canadian mineral development company with a focus on specialty minerals and metals. That is those commodities that have niche markets but are in increasing demand as new technology finds new ways to exploit their unique properties. So the element that's typical of that market right now that many of your viewers would be familiar with is lithium. And lithium has become our primary focus over the last year. So, so what are the opportunities and hurdles for mineral development in niche market metals? Well, first of all, they're not very well known by uh, equity investors. Mm -hmm. So you have to educate the market as to what they're used for, um, how they're valued, and what you have to do to uh, get into that business. And um, they're typically not exchange-traded commodities, so they're uh, more difficult for investors to understand how they're priced and therefore how to value uh, an asset in that business. So you have to do quite a bit of communication. Mm -hmm. And then that's very different from the traditional mining sector in that because it's not an exchange-traded commodity, you need to develop customer relationships mm -hmm. to find customers that will commit to buying your product. So it's more like a manufacturing uh, business at the end of the day. You have to extract something out of the ground and then turn it into a, a derivative product that will meet your customer's specifications. So it's a very different business from mining. Yeah. Talk about Avalon's growth plans for 2016. We have um, three advanced rare metals and minerals, specialty minerals projects, and two of them are moving forward quickly. First one is our Separation Rapids uh, Lithium Project, and the second one is our East Kempville Tin Indium Project in Nova Scotia. Separation Rapids is in northwestern Ontario, and it's uh, a lithium project that we've had since 1996. Mm -hmm. it first started looking at it as an opportunity to produce a lithium mineral for glass ceramics. Lithium is the key ingredient in thermal shock resistant uh, glass. And uh, that was the opportunity we saw at that time. But of course, there's been a big change in the lithium market over the last few years with the emergence of the lithium ion battery as the energy storage solution for electric vehicles, creating this whole new market that we, we didn't see in the, in the late 1990s. So we have reactivated the project over the last couple of years to uh, look at serving that market. And we're seeing a really good opportunity to do so uh, right now. So that's become our um, top priority. We want to uh, complete a preliminary economic assessment this year uh, to demonstrate the opportunity and then move it right into the feasibility study stage and bring our East Kempville Tin Indian project along in the background, which also op offers opportunities for uh, production and cash flow in the relatively near term. What about the benefits of being traded on OTCQX for Avalon? Well, for us, it's continued exposure to uh, U.S. investors. Uh, we first listed on the OTCQX back in uh, 2009, actually. And then now uh, with the, all the interest in rare earth elements in 2010, 2011, and an increased market valuation, we graduated to the MKT market. <laughs> but I've since um, uh, relisted on the OTCQX in order to... Uh, maintain that exposure to the very large uh, equity um, investor following that we have here in the United States. Thanks. What else would you like investors to know about Avalon? I'd also like to know that uh, we've built sustainability into the culture of our company. And the reason we do that is if you're going to produce um, commodities that are used in clean technologies such as lithium, um, many of those customers audit their supply chains back to the source of the critical materials uh, that they use and they want to ensure that they're being produced in a sustainable way that is environmentally and socially responsible way and uh, Avalon embraced those principles many years ago. We uh, continue to produce a GRI compliant sustainability report on an annual basis. And we believe that uh, that positions us well in terms of uh, access to uh, markets for our products with clean tech consumers around the world. Well, Don, thank you for visiting with us here at the Market Center, and we wish you success. My pleasure.